Shamai, and welcome to Bitcoin Coffee Break, the show in which we have a quick look at the Bitcoin price and some of the other markets which, which may be affecting it. The price of Bitcoin is $8,000 on the head. Look at that, timed that perfectly. Um, it's up a couple of percent, more or less. Uh, it's had a high of 8,020 and a low of 7,784, butting up against that resistance, trying to break through the 8,000 um, price, price tag. Uh, on the short term, there's very much uh, an ascending triangle formed which on that alone, traders are gonna start pouring some funds into Bitcoin, as well as the, you know, the, the, the scallop on the, on the sort of six month and the teacup, the cup and handle on the, um, on the six, seven month. So yeah, so it's looking bullish. Uh, I imagine the price is gonna go up, um, but I may be wrong. It may drop and go to those hyperwave wave levels. So this is not investment advice and don't put all your money into Bitcoin. Let's have a little look at the Bitcoin news feed, shall we? Um, another pullback pause as Bitcoin bounces back towards 8K. Yeah, uh, which we just saw live. Bitcoin price goes bullish after brief retracement. Analysts are optimistic. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's so much going on in the charts. And then also like the, the fact that uh, we had that kind of double top and then it didn't go down. It wasn't like a, there wasn't, this wasn't a, 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 a bull trap. Um, it looks like it's retracing and it's, 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 it is building that, that ascending triangle. Uh, crypto, mass adoption around the corner, traditional companies join the game. Yeah, we'll have a look at that in a moment. Binance drops major hints, margin trading coming soon. Local Bitcoin bans buying, Bitcoin buying in Iran. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's all good stuff. Let's have a look at Ethereum. So Ethereum is up as well, obviously, $252. It's up 3% or 2.6%. It's had a high of $252, a low of $242. Looking less bullish because uh, obviously it's like a buffered um, uh, riding on the tail coat of the price of Bitcoin. But it is, you know, like a pennant, I would say, that is formed here. So it's also very bullish. Uh, if we zoom out, then, yeah, I mean, it looks like it's going up. It looks like we're in a bullish market over the past six months. If we zoom out a little bit further to the yearly then um uh obviously we've had you know the huge high in 2017 and then we had the, the slow descend down and it looks like we've um flattened uh, and now it, we're going to go back up um obviously all on depending on what bitcoin's going to do so litecoin litecoin's at 95.5 dollars had a high of 96 dollars and low of $88 and it's, it's up 7.6%. So it's just in the past few hours, it's had a massive pop up. Uh, Litecoin is still in its channel. Uh, we said yesterday that it looked like Litecoin was going to pop up because uh, it hit the bottom of the channel. And then let's have a look now. So if we kind of trace up here, where would we say the top is? Let's say $100, just over $100. And the top of that channel will be about 100 just over $100. So we'll see whether it hits that zone and then pops back down. If so, then it really is building a channel up here. Um, Monero. Monero is $86.5, had a high of 86.8, a low of $83. Uh, well, what range are we on here? Monero, again, when you look at it on a long time frame, it very much like it looks like it's, it's consolidated and now it's going to start uh, its rise back up. Um, so, you know, a lot of traditional investors are going to be looking at these charts because uh, if you look at the historical data, when Bitcoin etches out the pattern which it's etched out on the long term, then it's going to go back up and it's going to break the last high, but by a significant amount. So, um, so if we look on the short term, let's go for the three month. If we go for the three monthly, it's a bit like Litecoin. It's building a, a, a nice positive channel, and then but, but it's got maybe a bit more of an arc upward, I would say. Um, and then this looks like a I don't know, just like a, 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 a symmetrical triangle. Um, but on the upside, so it's also bullish. So we got so on Bitcoin we've got a um, an ascending triangle. On Ethereum we've got a pennant, and then on Monero we've got a symmetrical upside triangle. So in general, all looking pretty bullish. Gold, what's gold doing? So gold's at one thousand two hundred and eighty-two. It's still working downward, but it's, we've had a little pop up in the past couple of days. Um, it's had a high of 1,284, a low of 1,281. It really doesn't like 1,300. Uh, so it's been hitting up against that and going down. If we look at the news feed, it's pretty much a lot of it relates to the, 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 the trade wars. So gold price prediction, gold consolidates despite uh, robust jobs data. Gold price slips as traders await more trade news. 
uh, gold price futures technical analysis uh, may have established support base at 1272.70 and that's, that's very short short time frame trading right there isn't it um bah, 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 bah. stocks wall street plunges on trade growth worries gold up one percent on global risk aversion set sites for 1300 again so yeah there is some hope that you know that the the uh the um, trade war which is going on between the us and asia will have a positive effect on gold price but so far it hasn't really done much um, and that's why the gold books would say that it's being manipulated but the dollar's strong so maybe people are just holding dollars and um and then also bitcoin went up so maybe people are diversifying into things like bitcoin s p 500 s p 500 is also i mean down on the long term it's actually up 0.6 percent on the short term uh stocks rebound at the rebound at the end of a tough week it was a tough week um u.s stock futures rise on size of trump administration could soften hawaii stance asia shares retreat on fears of china u.s trade uh, might now spread so it's all it's all the 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 u.s asia trade war which is going on which is the the um and the, the trade talks uh which is it's broken all the rallies you know so you know uh the s p 500 is doing quite well until this fiasco and then if we look at oil you know oil's doing the same thing it's uh it was doing well and then um, we've had the, the trade talk issues and now it's dropped. Um, so, and it's dropped quite significantly recently in the past couple of days, even though it's, it's, it's kind of made a little, a little bit of recovery in the past uh, the past past few hours. So, uh, India has handed all oil imports from Iran, but for how long? Gold prices, gold, 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 gold. Not sure what that's in the oil thread. The US is losing the nuclear race to Russia and China. Uh, Shell begins first ever Jurassic oil production in the Gulf of Mexico. So oil being oil. Um, uh, I wonder if it will, if the trade talks become more positive, whether uh, oil will react more positively. It'd be interesting to see because there is obviously a correlation between stocks and shares and oil because companies and businesses and, you know, they need oil. Um, Bitcoin. Let's have a look at the Bitcoin Reddit. Don't invest recklessly at the top of the thread. Uh, cute little article about some kids selling Bitcoin, uh, which is nice. So that's the sort of article you get on Reddit when we're in this sort of flat consolidation period. The next couple of days, I'm sure we'll get all the the, 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 the price memes or whatever, or the, as as much as um, the the the, uh, the Reddit uh, moderators try and um, try and discourage it. Let's have a little look here. AT and just made it possible to pay a phone bill with Bitcoin. Yeah, we'll have a look at that in a moment. Blah, blah, blah. Bitcoin accepted here. Cool Bitcoin artwork in some dude's um, office in Essen. I wonder if he's got anything to do with the blockchain hotel. Uh, closer look at some moving swaps on the Lightning Network. Yep, yeah, so pretty neutral. Um, I think the, the, the Bitcoin Reddit very much reflect, reflects the, 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 the feeling of the all the, the, the Bitcoin price itself. So I suppose it's worth having a look at the Reddit. Have a look at uh, let's have a look at some articles now. So Satoshi Nakamoto is easy to get through, can be found by fools. Chain claims John McAfee. So John McAfee claims he knows who Satoshi is, and it's quite easy to analyze uh, the white paper and other writings of the time in similar fields, and then find who the likely cul uh, candidate is for Satoshi. I remember this was years ago, like maybe 2012, 13. This was all the the rage was to do an analysis on Satoshi's writings and then try and find links with other people. And I think the, from from looking at it myself at that time, I, th I think I think the only correlation was that, um, or the only interesting thing was that, that was, Satoshi was probably more than one person because uh, you had someone using double spaces after a full stop, and then someone else who didn't use double spaces after a full stop. Um, uh, I use double spaces after a full stop, which is quite unusual. But I assure you, I'm not Satoshi. Uh, I think there was some relationship with Nick Zabo's writings and Hal Finney's writings, maybe, but it was spurious and, and it wasn't, you know. There wasn't enough evidence there to, 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 to make a, an actual claim that either were um, just based on the, the technical, you know, analysis of their writing. So I think John McAfee's just being John McAfee. He hasn't worked out who Satoshi is. Uh, um, he just needs to, to show that he has some sort of in an, uh, secret sanctum sanctorum knowledge, which gives him some credibility in the tech world. Facebook cryptocurrency global coin set to launch in Q1 of 2020. So, yeah, Facebook are launching their currency. I don't know whether it will be a cryptocurrency in 2020, which is a, a very interesting time to launch it because obviously we've got the halving at that point. 
so a lot of, there's going to be a lot of talk around Bitcoin. Uh, being Facebook, they're able to go into countries and talk to, you know, so they've gone into, they've gone to the, the Bank of England and they've talked to Mark Carney there um, um, and then sort of picked his brains. Originally, the project was called uh, Project Libra, which I thought was quite a cool name. And I think uh, Libra coin would probably be a better name for the for the cryptocurrency or the currency. Uh, global coin, it sounds like a shit coin uh, or old coin, which it probably will be. I can't imagine that many people are going to use it. Some people will use it, but it would, it would generally just be good coverage. It'll, it'll affirm that, you know, having other forms of currency than fiat currency is an interesting thing, which, we're, you know, the new paradigm for, 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 for the new tech future we're walking into. Uh, and that will drive more people towards Bitcoin, I imagine. Uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just a, a money grab, data grab by Facebook. Um, Jack Dorsey's approach is uh, much more admirable, obviously, uh, by the, the creator of Twitter. He just supports Bitcoin and understands uh, uh, Bitcoin's um, utility and he pushes Bitcoin. And I, 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 I assume that he's accumulating some Bitcoin as well. So I'm sure he'll do, do quite well out of Bitcoin's rise. So, yeah, so Facebook being Facebook um, should be good for Bitcoin, should get more people interested in, in other forms of currency, um, but isn't really that interesting. It'd be interesting if they incorporated Bitcoin. That'd be cool. Uh, AT&T teams up with BitPay to accept bill payments in crypto. So there was loads of hype about this on Twitter, and, and a lot of people getting excited that AT&T were now accepting Bitcoin. And someone said, "Oh, Bit, you know, AT&T are accumulating Bitcoin. They're not accumulating Bitcoin. BitPay have just approached AT&T and said you can get like you know a thousand, a couple of thousand new customers if you start letting people pay in cryptocurrency." And then um, for AT&T, they're like, OK, well, as, you know, as long as your service then delivers us the cash, we don't care. So they're not accumulating Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency. They're just it's just a way, you know, a publicity, a way of a way of just driving some more customers towards them. And then the cryptocurrency you spend on your bills is then going to be converted instantly to cash for AT&T. So. Um, you're just taking your cryptocurrency and then floating it on the market and then putting more liquidity into the market. So not particularly good for Bitcoin. BitPay aren't really Bitcoin friendly. Um, you know, if, you, if you look through their documentation, there's, there's a lot of Bcash shilling because uh, a lot of their, their business model depends on you know shilling the, the, the blockchain as opposed to you know, more sensible second layer solutions. So I don't think you can do Lightning Network on BitPay yet, which is ridiculous. So it's not, it's, you know, I, I, I could... Um, incorporate Lightning Network into BitPay securely, and I'm not a developer or coder. Uh, this is why we have BTC Pay Server because uh, BitPay are really just failing in um, in the, the the failing in their role as a as a, a bridge between companies and accepting cryptocurrency. So yeah, so that's 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 it really. That's pretty much the 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 uh, Friday. So enjoy your weekend, and then I will see you on Monday.